Hello everyone, uh, this is Gökhan Kiper from Izmir Institute of Technology. Uh, in recent years, we have been working on a modified uh, version of Altman linkage and uh, some deployable networks uh, obtained from that linkage. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, talk about these uh, networks uh, and uh, I'm going to show you some uh, prototypes uh, built for those networks. In 1954, uh, Fritz Altman uh, published a paper uh, on spatial six-link uh, mechanisms. Uh, this mechanism you see in the picture is one of those mechanisms, uh, which is uh, known as the Altman linkage uh, today. Uh, although the mechanism has a uh, very high level of uh, uh, symmetrical properties and uh, it resembles a, a rectangle, uh, in the uh, deployed uh, form and it uh, uh, it can fold uh, into uh, a shape where all links are collinear uh, so it is very suitable for uh, to be used in deployable structures but it seems the linkage is not very well known so uh, until recently no one has used this linkage for deployable structures uh, Altman linkage is a special type of uh, general line symmetric Bricard linkage uh, so this is uh, important in our research because we are going to change the parameters of the Altman linkage. So uh, in the general case, uh, it is one of the over-constrained uh, 6R Bricard linkage. Uh, so the opposite links, so yellow, yellow, orange, orange, and blue, blue links are uh, identical to each other. So it has this uh, line symmetry. Uh, motion so and opposite links uh, move symmetrically with respect to this uh, uh, line in the middle uh, and uh, you can see the symmetry in the uh, dynamic Hartenberg parameters as well so whatever you see for the first uh, three uh, lines here you see the same thing on a, uh, in the second uh, set of uh, three lines uh, in the table uh, now uh, let's see how how do we obtain the Altman linkage as a special case of the Bricard linkage? Uh, so these uh, parts where which are uh, in red are the special uh, dimensions. Uh, I use the same color code. So uh, you have these uh, yellow, uh, orange and blue links. Again, we have the yellow, orange and blue links. So uh, the, uh, the specialty is especially about the blue links. So in the blue links, the link lengths are made zero. And all joint offsets are chosen to be zero. And also the twist angles are chosen to be either plus or minus 90 degrees. Uh, so this is how you obtain the Altman linkage as a special case of the uh, general line symmetric Bricard linkage. So what we did uh, just a couple of years ago uh, together with Fuli Atarer and Koray Korkmaz is uh, we modified slightly modified the Altman linkage to make it more suitable for production so you see here in this form so this this figure is uh, taken from the original uh, uh, paper uh, over here so uh, it is hard to do a constructional design with this type of uh, a geometry so if, if there is no offset here, so especially designing these uh, universal joints over here uh, is hard. So what we did is we uh, introduced some joint offsets here. So introducing joint offsets. So these uh, four joint offsets are non-zero as opposed to the Altman linkage. Then the mechanism becomes more uh, suitable for construction. Uh, and we have... Uh, devised several uh, assemblies uh, using this type of uh, modified Altman linkage uh, in this paper. So we have uh, these uh, series connection of uh, Altman loops, uh, then uh, we have these scissor type uh, connection of the Altman loops, then we have these overlapping uh, types of Altman loops. So this is uh, similar to Yang Chen's work. Yang Chen, uh, uh, made assemblies of Bennett linkages by uh, overlapping uh, Bennett loops uh, with uh, each other. So in this case, for the Altman, uh, when you do the overlap, uh, 
uh, you either have a smaller Altman loop or a, a small uh, parallelogram loop uh, in between. Uh, and uh, these uh, four are infinite uh, series. So you can uh, do uh, an infinite uh, expansion of these series. Uh, and uh, we also have this finite assembly. Uh, so in this case, uh, we uh, connect four Altman loops to obtain a loop of loops. So this is over our constraint, I would say. Uh, so using this uh, uh, last assembly, uh, actually I have a patent uh, patent application uh, which can be used for deployable tents or uh, deployable stamps. Uh, now, so this is what we have done before. So what is new? Uh, so we have the so-called further modified Atman linkage. So uh, by uh, doing some uh, trials, uh, we have uh, seen that if we take uh, at these universal joints instead of the universal joints if we have this distance so which means these uh, link lengths are not zero anymore uh, if we use some link length over here actually that link length has to be equal to this uh, offset uh, in this joint one and four uh, so uh, this uh, joint offset is also non-zero in this case uh, if we use such a, a distance in these blue la uh, links, uh, what we obtain is uh, all links can be manufactured from a, a bar of cross section, square cross section. So you can just use a square cross section bar and cut it into these small blue parts and then uh, these uh, orange parts and yellow parts and then just connect them with some uh, simple uh, connections which will allow uh, rotation then you have a mobile uh, assembly and the advantage of this is the following you see here this uh, orange link is up uh, to on the top uh, yellow link is on the uh, uh, bottom so uh, in these type of connections, Caesar uh, type of connections, it helps you to uh, have uh, these uh, the very nice connections. So in the following videos, uh, first I'm going to show you a homoid uh, assembly of this uh, mod further modified Altman linkage, which is still uh, a special case of the uh, uh, lines, general line symmetric Bricard linkage. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to show you uh, some uh, videos of prototypes which are done by my students in a, a master's course.